Ever find yourself staring out the window at work, wishing you had like a team of total geniuses to just bounce some ideas off of? <laughs> like you've got this problem you just can't crack and you need some serious brain power in your corner. It's like you need to assemble like this dream team, right? Yeah. A league of extraordinary minds. Exactly. And that's kind of what we're diving into today. We're talking about this whole world of fractional executives, mm. which is already a pretty cool concept. But then on top of that, they've got this thing called a think tank. Oh, yeah, the think tank. It's uh, where things get really interesting. So for anyone who hasn't encountered this before, what exactly are we talking about when we say fractional executive? OK, so basically, imagine having access to a whole team of like C-suite level experts, yeah. you know, CFO, CMO, the whole shebang, but instead of bringing them on full time. You only use them when you need them. Exactly. It's like you get their expertise on demand for a fraction of the cost of a full timer. And now this company, Acorn Oak, they've taken that idea, this fractional executive thing, and they're like, hold my coffee. Because they're bringing together a whole bunch of these fractional execs with different specialties. And they're basically building these on demand brain trust, these think tanks. Yeah, and they are really excited about this. I mean, their website is using phrases like transformative experience, breakthrough revelations. Mm -hmm. Is it just hype? Like, what's the big deal about getting a bunch of these execs in a room together? Why is that potentially such a game changer? Well, think about it. It's not just a bunch of execs. They all come from different backgrounds, different industries, different areas of expertise. So you've got, say, a marketing whiz in there with a finance guru and maybe an operations ninja. Mm. They're all looking at the same problem, but from completely different angles. It's like that thing where if you ask five people for directions, you'll get five different answers. Right? And sometimes one of those answers or maybe a combination of all of them is the key to unlocking something totally new. And there's actual science behind this. Like there's research that shows that diverse viewpoints are one of the biggest drivers of innovation and creative problem solving. Like that whole two heads are better than one thing, but on steroids. Exactly. And it helps avoid groupthink, which is like the death knell of creativity. OK, so it makes sense in theory. But what does this think tank thing actually look like in practice? How does it work? It's a very structured, collaborative process. So first, you, the client, the person with the challenge, you provide a brief to Acorn Oak outlining the problem you want to tackle. So they know what they're walking into. Exactly. Yeah. And then, based on the challenge, they assemble a think tank team from their roster of fractional execs. And let me tell you, they've got some AE way hitters. I mean, we're talking about people like Carolyn Wagner. Who was VP of something at some huge E company. Right. And Kelly Olson, Virginia Glancer, Dr. Crudy Lennonbauer. I mean, these are seriously impressive people. And the cool thing is the think tank team, they actually prep using your materials before the session even starts. No time wasted. None. They hit the ground running. Then you have two collaborative sessions with a break in between got to have time for coffee and those aha moments. Right? right. Let it all percolate. Exactly. And by the end of the think tank, you've got key findings, a solid action plan and a detailed report outlining the next steps. So it's not just a free for all brainstorming session. You walk away with tangible takeaways. Absolutely. This is about driving real change, unlocking that next level of growth for your business. This is making me think about, have you ever had a situation where this kind of outside the box thinking, this think tank approach would have been really useful? Oh, are you kidding? All the time. I was working with this tech startup, right? Yeah. Hold on. We're going to have to save that story for another time because we're just about out of time. But for you listening out there, mm -hmm. what about you? What problem have you been grappling with? Could this think tank thing be the key to unlocking that solution? It's a really interesting question, isn't it? Because the material we were looking at focused specifically on business applications for this think tank model. But I can't help but wonder, could this work for other things too? Could it work for nonprofits or government or even just in our personal lives when we're facing those big life decisions? It's something to think about, right? Definitely something to think about. And on that note, we'll wrap up this deep dive. Thanks for joining us.